Hi, in this video, we will talk about how the cells are integrated to form a battery pack. So as you see here that um, we get individual cells and uh, they have a specific capacity. Let's say this cell has 5000 mAh, maybe the smaller cell have 2500 mAh. Uh, you could also find the larger cells which may have even 1520 mAh as well in cylindrical cells, right? So, and similarly, we do find the cells in prismatic formats. So, we will have even a big cell for about uh, 200, 250 H capacity also. Now, we have individual cells. Like, how do we form the individual cells to form a battery pack? So, we can see here that a uh, simple battery pack that has been made out of the cylindrical cells. So, we connect the cells in series and parallel configurations to achieve a specific size of the battery pack. When we add cells in series, we get uh, addition of voltage. And we, when, when we add cells in parallel, we get an addition of the capacity. So when you see here that these cells are connected in series and parallel using a kind of components, we can call this as a lattice. So which connects the cell to cell um, as the contact. Uh, we use something like spot welding, uh, we can use laser welding, we can also use wire bonding, uh, different processes to you know, create, joy, create a joining between the cells. It's, it's up to the kind of uh, lattice that we use. And uh, also the lattice will end with kind of connections like a bus bar here, if you see as a thick bus bar which comes out. And this is a bus bar that would become positive and negative terminals of the overall for the battery pack. So that's the way this has been arranged uh, with the help of cylindrical cells. In the exactly similar way that we see here for the battery pack with the prismatic cells. So prismatic cells have much more simplicity compared to the uh, cylindrical cells in terms of their arrangement because of the we need a lot of cell holders to keep the cylindrical cells. But when it comes to prismatic cells, we don't need cell holders uh, as such. So we kind of use specifically the, the kind of compressive pads to kind of take care of some tolerances and stack ups. And then we can join them with different processes. Again, you can see some kind of a, um, you know, a, a lattice that I've used here to join between the cell to cell. And this has been connected to another uh, module. There were two modules as a part of this battery pack. So what we mean in the, this video is we get cells and they have terminals. We need to arrange them in a specific fashion to make them a series and parallel. So we need uh, the nickel strips are the materials that are typically used. We need to connect them to the cells with the help of the spot welding. And then we need certain cell holders uh, that are typically made up of ABS and different type of plastics as well nowadays with respect to the thermal requirements. And then end of the day, you all connect these lattice to the bus bar and the bus bar becomes an output, output a little to the battery pack. <clears throat> so that's in a summary what, what is there inside the battery pack and how is it all get constructed with the help of um, you know, the lattice to the cell and the lattice to the bus bar as well and different manufacturing process in place. Thank you.